For mum's Christmas present last year, I decided to make a cloth for her using a slice of cooler bar burl. The burl was full of sap veins which weren't particularly attractive and went all the way through. So I taped up the underside of it and prepared some clear epoxy from solid solutions. Knowing how deep the sap veins were, I decided to mix just a small amount up and decided that I'd do a second ca casting. This in theory would let me use a little less epoxy all up and I wouldn't have any issues with curing and that sort of stuff. clean up all the excess epoxy as well as to get it as smooth and remove all the bandsaw marks, I used a combination of a four and a half smoothing plane and a card scraper. Both required a lot of sharpening, uh, but this was much quicker than sanding and didn't put any epoxy into the air. And it also left a buttery smooth surface, so I didn't need to start sanding with anything lower than 240 grit. I traced out the rough shape and position of the clock movement, then took it to the drill press and bored out the back of the force a bit. Clean that up with a chisel which was slow work. Cooler bar is tough as it is, but when it's soaked with the resin it doesn't get any softer. After that was square, I could drill the through hole with a regular twist bit. I went with a combination of a couple of coats of Danish oil to bring out the colour and figure of the cooler bar, then a few coats of U Butte's hard shellac as a top coat. I really love the colour of Australian woods. Fast forward eight months and mum has finally decided that she wanted to hang it on the wall. She couldn't decide whether she wanted to stand or to put it on the wall. I cut a cleat down so it would sit out from the wall slightly. Then using my trim router and a keyhole bit, I cut a slot for the bolt to hold the clock up on the wall. As you can see, I didn't really think about where I was sticking my ugly mug and apparently decided to use my beard as a filter. To attach the cleats, I went with five minute epoxy. The back wasn't particularly flat and I wasn't sure how much epoxy had soaked through, which could have stopped the wood glue from bonding properly.
Then it was a matter of hanging it in the wall using some weird but effective hanger plug things and getting the position of, of all the numbers lined up. The numbers are just adhesive backed, which isn't particularly strong adhesive. Worst case, a little bit of heat and they'll slide around just fine. Probably should have drawn lines out properly using a compass and some maths, but for now eyeballing it is fine. If it doesn't line up right, I'll fix it when my masks me too. Thanks for watching.